Eat the Street is a monthly gathering of food trucks. Hawaii's finest food trucks, traditional food trucks, lunch wagons, what we call it here in Hawaii. We bring them together once a month, the last Friday of every month in the Kakako neighborhood. And we have a nice big event, music, art, food. It's a great community get together. Kaka'ako is in our urban neighborhood. Everybody lives up. And this is a great opportunity to come down on the elevators, get outside, eat al fresco, you know, and just enjoy the evening. There is a lot of good food at this event. <laughs> the name of our company is Flipped Out. We're a Filipino fusion food truck. Started off doing tacos and stuff like that, but we decided to take it a step further. Some of the things that we're known for is the Pinoy dogs, our Philly cheesesteak, um, oh, I'm also our adobo french fries. In Hawaii, we have lunch wagons and they predate the food trucks that began arriving last year. Lunch wagons normally park at a certain spot, a predictable spot, and they dish out usually plate lunches. That's your protein, your two scoops of white rice, and your macaroni salad. Now the food trucks stepped it up. It's all local folks cooking local food. Uh, a lot of times, if it's like tacos, they put a local twist on it. So it's a way to get local flavors with an international twist. They do use social media to let people know where they're going to be on a given day. So if you want to know where Shogunite Caucus is going to be, where Tiki Truck is going to be, you're going to have to check their Facebook or Twitter. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two. Is it salty or spicy? No, no, just right. So social media is like the biggest thing since sliced bread. It's um, the way people interact on the internet, and it's beyond email. It's um, a way to share what you're doing with everybody um, in real time. I have a blog on Nasa Honolulu. I'm Melissa 808 on Twitter. I run around, um, take pictures with my smartphone, take videos with my smartphone, and post it immediately to the web. For Eat the Street, I might pump out about 30 to 40 tweets. Um, depending on what there is to eat and who's here, I might get really excited. So. <laughs> Honestly, without Facebook and Twitter, I don't think people would even know who I am. 80% of my marketing and everything, I, I owe everything to Twitter and Facebook. All we got to do is impress one person, they'll tell 10 people, those 10 people will tell 50 people, and on and on and on. The interaction between myself and the, the followers, is, it's a lot of fun actually. I have diehard fans that just follow me everywhere. My chef, he yells at me quite often that I'm on there Twittering all the time or on Facebook and updating people and with what our adventures are and all the trucks are a family that's a big part of why we're out here because everybody just enjoys it we keep in touch during the week through twitter and facebook and it's, it's just a really good time my name is matt duffy and my company's name is shogunai tacos and my chef is uh, chef kamal jamari and we sell fusion tacos kind of japan meets morocco north african cuisine this is the osaka joe taco that i have here this is our signature dish this is a uh, pork that's marinated in ginger garlic lemon and show you and we have two kinds of sprouts. We have snow pea sprouts and mung bean sprouts. And then we put our own shogunai sauce, which is a kind of a mixture of a few different Japanese sauces. And then we sprinkle a little for a kaki on top of it. I'm Sean Priester. Soul Patrol is my vehicle towards abundance and happiness and uh, spreading love and joy to people. We sell southern regional cuisine. We like to mix it up with some local uh, products. We get our collard greens from, Wai from Wailua, from Mohala Farms. I get my salsa from Kukui Sausage Company, which is a local company as well. This is called, this is a crab mac and feta. We have some extra feta left over from a party. A cook of mine claimed that he can make a mac and cheese with feta that tasted good. I didn't believe him. I sat down and ate it, and my mind was saying no, but I kept eating it until it was gone inside. So eventually we ended up putting crab in it and bacon and stuff like that. So it's a cult favorite now. Your debut at Eat the Street, Chris, how is it going? Um, I need help. You need help? I, and I want my mommy. <laughs> that means it's going good, right? Yes, yes, yes. The pork belly sticks. Pork belly? This is uh, braised for many, 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 many hours to make it tender and soft. And amazing. then it's grilled with salt and that secret ingredient, white pepper. This is the tsukune. Yeah. Tsukune stick, very popular, very tender. It has uh, mountain yam in it. That's what keeps it juicy okay, if you want to try it at home. But try mine first.
A waffle hot dog is a typical good quality hot dog surrounded by a slightly sweet, crispy batter. To prepare for an event like this, we scout the trucks first, and so we kind of look at the list and see who's new. Usually we want to see who's the new trucks, and that's what we want to try. Huh? What are you going to get? What's good? The black and ahi is a win. Yeah, I've had that before. Awesome. The garlic Hello. shrimp is good. Hello! Is the garlic shrimp like a, one of your special mixes again, too? Or? Sorry, I just made it up last week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> local, local family, and they created a lot of their own proprietary seasonings and mixes and we just started making it on their own. The garlic shrimp though, I asked her, is this one of your one of your new mixes? Because I haven't seen it at, at the farmer's markets or anything. She's like, I just made it up last week so I don't have a story for you yet. But <laughs> mm. yeah, it's not the real deal. My god, it's so garlicky. I'm gonna kill someone with my breath. But it's so good. It is so good. Sorry? Is there a secret to this? No. <laughs> Did you try it? Yeah, it's so garlicky. It's, it's good. It's super garlicky. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's so yeah, jicky. That's how I wanted it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like funko. What's more popular, the King Kamehameha or the tri -wee? You want to try the best. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah? Okay. It's definitely the King Kamehameha. Okay. okay. This is a malasada burger. So a malasada is a deep fried Portuguese donut. And so they cut it in half and made it the hamburger bun instead of a regular hamburger bun. So it's supposed to be sweet. And um, I ordered the King Kamehameha, so it has um, bacon and Kalua pig in it. That's so not on your diet. That's so good. It is? Really? today a pork adobo taco. It's a Filipino braised uh, pork, jerk chicken, it's a Jamaican specialty. I got the Puleo steak, which is uh, from the Big Islands, a cowboy steak. We have Cuban sandwiches, we have Cuban steak sandwiches, we have the shredded pork sandwiches, which in Spanish you say lechon, and it's served with a like a citrus mojo garlic sauce. Okay, this is actually our uh, local boy's special. This is the ahi poke. Uh, we also have the cool pig and the spicy tuna. We are considered the old traditional Lunch wagon with plate lunches, and that's what we've been doing for 25 years. Simple Filipino food, original, cooked from our heart, from my mom's heart. My mom was the originator of the pork adobo fried rice omelet, and is trademarked and patented in here in the state of Hawaii, and that is our number one dish. It's pieces of pork adobo, which is a staple of Filipino food, and it's fried rice, all mixed up, and then we season it, and then we wrap it in an egg omelet. We sell hundreds a day, yeah. as well as the uh, lechon special, which is crispy pork, chopped up tomato onions, and served, and that's also a very, very you know, popular dish, too. In the past, food trucks have been competitive and territorial. We now see ourselves as a movement and we embrace each other and we know that together uh, the, the movement is stronger. So we, we like to park together and we become a destination. Eat the Street has been unbelievable in terms of exposure. People that are shifting their attitudes about food trucks come and they taste the food and they have a whole new experience. It's a fun, fun night. <laughs>